where our next presenter is Johan Verborg, the CEO of Econova. Welcome, Johan. Thank you very much. Thank you. I am Johan Verboy, uh, the new CEO of Iconovo since April this year. And I'm representing Iconovo, which is a company that is deeply rooted in inhalation. We are um, a company that delivers complete inhalation products to the market. And these products can really shorten the time for pharmaceutical companies to launch. And we base our business on four proprietary inhalation platforms. We have IcoCap, which is a capsule inhaler. We have IcoRes, which is a residual inhalation device. We have Ico1, which is a single use disposable inhalation device. And we have IcoPre, which is a pre-metered inhalation device, much like, much like the Ellipta inhaler from GSK. We are a company that are uh, noted on uh, NASDAQ First North. We have a market cap around 400 million SEC. We are very well capitalized. We took in 60 million end of 2019. And we had at the end of Q3, 72 millions left to use. And also Q3 was one of the best quarters that we made or the best in three years from an from a invoicing and activity point of view. So we are a company that are active within the field of inhalation and more specifically within the field of asthma and COPD. In the, those two diseases, there are 590 million people living with these diseases. So it's a huge marketplace. What is also less known is that around 1,000 people every day, according to WHO, actually die from asthma, a very common disease that many of you have as well. And this is because they didn't, simply did not get access to affordable and effective asthma treatments. So this is the space where we want to get involved and develop a solution for them as well. This market is, is uh, representing a value of 30 billion US dollars. So it's a huge market. And what is a little bit peculiar, peculiar about this market is that half of the sales is concentrated to only these five in inhaler platforms. And many of these as well have actually lost the patent, but still the value is retained in the market. And why is that then? It's simply because it is difficult to make an inhalation pharmaceutical product. First, you have to control and make the powder. You have to make that perfect. You have to make it flow. Uh, it should end up in exactly the right place in the lung of the patient. And you have to design the inhala inhaler and you have to make the inhalation device and the powder work perfectly together. So we can solve that problem for companies. So normally they are faced with a long time to develop, a high cost for that development and a high risk. And Iconovo we know how to do this. We are a company that is actually based in making uh, device design. Many of our employees were working for AstraZeneca that were actually here in, in Medicon Village where we stand today. Uh, so we are expert in device development. We are also experts in powder formulation and making exactly the right composition for uh, each inhaler and the patients. And we have an in-house department that can do the analytics so we can all the time check and optimize so we have the perfect constitution. So instead of facing this long time, high cost, high risk scenario, we can shorten the time, lower the cost, and also lower the risk for the companies that contact us. And when the companies come to us and we sign an agreement to develop 
product, an inhalation product for them. We make a license agreement for a combination of one of our inhalation platforms, the inhaler, a drug of the customer choice, and then in a specific territory. We can then actually use the same platform for another company that comes with another drug and wants to be active in another territory. So this makes our offer very scalable. The way we develop the inhalation products is fully integrated. So we have parallel workflows where, where we have device development and formulation development and optimization happening in parallel, more or less. So this way we can shorten the time and we can all the time make sure that we have a perfect, ba perfect balance between inhalation device and formulation. And once we can make the technology transfer to the customer, that pharma company will then set up the pharmacokinetic trials, they will do the registration, set up the supply chain and everything. And from launch on, we as Iconovo will get part of the revenues in terms of, of royalty. So this royalty flow is really what is making up the backbone of our profit model for the future. So we will become a very profitable um, company when we reach the, the royalty uh, phase. We are currently not profitable. We are before that sweet spot. And our um, revenue model is uh, consisting of a technology access fee when we sign the agreements. We then can have a fee for, fee for service um, or a milestone setup, which is the normal way to do it. And in the end, when the product is launched in the market, we get the royalties from, from sales. If you compare Iconovo to an um, innovative company, maybe with a one or two molecules in phase one or two clinical phase uh, trials, there is a higher probability of success for Iconovo to reach the market. Uh, for early stage novel pharma companies, the probability of reaching the market is around 10%. For generics in general, it's above 65%. But we claim that with our integrated development model, it's even more than that. And we can really increase the probability of success. And another thing that we aim to do is that we shorten the time for the companies that contact us. And we estimate that we can cut around three to four years for the companies in development time. So coming back to our inhalation devices, IcoCap, IcoRes, Ico1 and IcoPre. These are the platforms we have and we currently have contracts and uh, license agreements for two out of these uh, platforms. Our current customers are these four. We can start top left with BNC Korea, where we have a 20 year royalty agreement. We signed this in July this year. It's for the Asian market. It's a quite big area with 2.7 billion inhabitants, which is growing enormously. Um, it's for two. Uh, formulations, generic versions of Altibro and Seabree, and these should be used in IcoCap. Then we have the agreement with our global uh, partner, Stevanato Group, Italian company, which have a, a global marketing engine to, for selling the uh, IcoCap device. We have Amnil, one of our longest partners, um, which is a 20 year royalty agreement for the European market for. IcoRes, and it's a Symbicore generic. This is our most advanced project, project, and we are currently preparing for technology transfer Q1 2021. The last one is Intes. It's a 20-year royalty agreement, that as well, for the European market, and the uh, sub, uh, substance here is undisclosed, undis not disclosed. So finally, uh, to sum it up, we are helping companies to get to market faster. And by doing so, with our 
great products, we will allow them to get higher market shares and we will get higher revenue streams through royalties. There is also a higher chance of success for each Iconovo project by using our integrated development approach. And there is a lower risk in Iconovo compared to early stage one drug, one drug pharma companies, for example, because we, are, we have currently four platforms, inhalation platforms and a portfolio of projects. Thank you. No, thank you for a very interesting presentation. And I thought we'd start actually by talking about you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so, like you said, you um, are relatively new as a CEO for Iconovo. You took yes. over it this April. Yeah. How would you say that Iconovo's priorities have changed, if at all, since you took over? The priorities, the core priorities are exactly the same. I mean, the, 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 the first priorities we have is to get the existing agreements across the finishing line develop, uh, for example, the Amnil project technology into technology transfer, which will happen really early next year, and then Intest project as well. And we also have, uh, we have the development of ICOPRI really on top of our agenda, because this will be uh, uh, key for the future. Mm -hmm. and then what I bring is, uh, with my commercial background, I, I bring a little bit more uh, commercial spirit to the company, I, uh, I structure it and, and uh, work on getting really more agreements into our portfolio, yes. so customer work. Yeah, so if we look at your current business platform, what would you say is the most important aspect of that? Um, I would say the, the most important aspect is really the, the unique competence that Iconovo has. It's it's very hard to copy this model and it's only a few companies in the world that can do what we do. So we are in a fairly unique position when it comes to this. And, and if we look ahead, what are the main near-term challenges for, for Iconovo and uh, do you have a plan for addressing them? I assume you do. <laughs> yes, we do. You know, every, every challenge is an opportunity if you can just manage it better than everyone else. And of course, one of the most evident challenges is, is uh, the COVID-19 pandemic with uh, me as a, you know, outwards going commercial person. I want to see persons. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to really be able to uh, go out there. To so it's, face -face that is a, face -face. That, it's a social challenge. But I, we really feel that we can manage it by, uh, by using modern technology. And actually, we feel that we have uh, an ever-increasing number of contacts with uh, you know, potential new customers or partners, and it's working really good. Well, we look forward to following you in the coming years, and thank you so much for coming here today and presenting. Thank you so much. Thank you.